Another game to get to is Maryland and Rutgers. Senior day for players like Deontay Carew, who wanted to make a difference, and he did in the second quarter. Carew one-handed. <laughs> He finished with a career-high 183 yards and a score. So the Scarlet Knights are up 21. They lead at halftime 31 to 13, but the comeback is on. This is Ty Johnson, 44 yards. The Terrapins are back within four. Under 10 minutes to go in the fourth. Maryland down five. Kenneth Goins, he busts through. That's a 42-yard score. Maryland goes for two, doesn't get it, but still, they got the lead at this point. They're up by one. Now, field goal meant they were down by two, but then Brandon Ross gets the ball, finds his way through a hole of players, and he's gone 80 yards for a score. Ross finished with 173 yards on the ground. Terps are back up 46 to 41. Under two minutes to go, Rutgers facing a fourth and one. They have to get it. They don't get it. 46-41, your final score. The first conference win of the year for Mike Loxley. Here's Tina Servasio. <laughs> Brandon, congratulations on the win. This is the first conference win. Just such a, a up and down season. What does this mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, especially for us seniors, you know, when Coach Locks took over six games ago, you know, it was really just about playing hard. We played hard the whole season, especially those last six games, and we just really want to get this win for our seniors going out strong. You know, we thought we had it last week. We didn't finish the game. Our goal today was to finish strong. All year long, these guys battle, and that's all we asked of them from day one. The win means a lot to me because it's, those guys deserved it. You know, a lot of questions have been asked about what's going to happen. It's about the kids. It's always been about the kids. And I'm glad they were able to finish 2015. I told them we were finishing up a book. This last chapter was about a great ending. We got a great ending.